Christ, we've had some rain now. Christ, we've had some rain. Christ, we've had some rain. Still raining. I mean, these guys, these guys haven't been outside, but they, they just can't believe how much rain we've had. Christ, we've had some rain. So I'm gonna go to the shores and I'll uh, well, see if they've had any rain. Have you had any rain? It's not pretty well for how wet they are, don't they? <laughs> Grab its leg. What are you going <laughs> to... So this is the Shaw's potato store, cold store, and this normally this time of year would be a lot more full than this, uh, but there's still a lot in the ground. This is a vent uh, for blowing air underneath to try and keep them dry and cool. 
and yeah normally there's a lot of uh, spuds still out in the field yet to be picked because of the wet weather so there's not a lot left in here this is the bucket they use for loading them into the grader and then over here is where they tip them into the grader which has got a very slow moving belt at the bottom if you look carefully you can see them just slowly starting to move away down and then uh, up, up the grader to the left uh, where, they, uh, where they get graded. wants to know how spuds are bagged. Yeah, these rollers here are where they're supposed to turn those spuds over so that you can see and the uh, rotten ones are green ones.
Christ, we've had some rain. I thought maybe the uh, pipe had blocked again, but it hasn't. But it's flooded our field again. And it's running over the road. I don't know what you can see, really, but... Yeah, there's an awful lot of water going down that ditch. And there's water running everywhere. Let's just go through here. Water running across this driveway. I don't know what the camera picks up. This field of ours is completely underwater. But yeah, all jokes aside, we have had a lot of rain today, so it's, it's about as flooded as it ever has been. Um, yeah, I've just got back from the shores. I still haven't got any batteries, I, I was hoping they would come in the post today. I've ordered some batteries for this rain gauge. I was just going to show you how it works. Uh, Dan got me this for, for, for Christmas, because he's known that, you know, I never seem to know exactly how much rain we've had. So this is the bit that goes inside. That'll probably stay here on the wall, which is a which is the digital readout. And then this is the catcher. So the water obviously goes in there, and then drips down onto like these scales. So, and once it's filled that one up, it'll tip it out. And then it'll fill this one up and it'll tip it out and it that obviously just trips a switch and that is obviously a volume of water which it's obviously it knows and then uh, it counts it counts the amount of times that that rocks back and two and that's how it adds up the volume of water so you never have to empty it it just it's an ongoing count um but it won't it needs batteries in here which i've put in Apparently you don't have to change them very often, those batteries should last for a pretty long time and then you need batteries in here as well, which are the ones that I don't have. Two different sized batteries typically. So yeah, I just thought you'd be really interested to see that, but uh, you know, I can't wait to get it up and running. You know, we're pioneers of all the uh, all the latest tech here at, uh, at um, Knob Farms, so... Anyway, that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.